Good morning. Happy Labor Day. And for anyone not in the US, just happy Monday. So, happy September, no doubt. All right, let's put that it goes. Actually, we're going to do a bracket. Yeah, good warm up round. Oh, Kaniola, Kaniola? I don't know how you say it, but good morning. Kadoli? I don't know. What's going on, Paul? No stream yesterday, sorry. Busy day. The bedtime in Australia? Yeah, I guess depending on where you live, it's what, between 8 and 10 p.m. there? Morning from Cancun. Oh wow, I'm jealous. Okay. All right, we got Australia, we got Cancun, England. I'd like to be. Oh, you crushed it. It's better to be Ohio than Michigan. Yeah, that's true. Florida's going to get just thrilled. Going international. Yeah. Man, I'm ticked off. <clears throat> Went canoeing yesterday. Buy a brand new pair of freaking rocks like you know swim shoes or whatever i get out of the new get out you know i get out and i step in this it's just like the sinkhole of mud literally my feet go like two feet into the water both feet go in can't find my shoes ended up losing them owned them less than 24 hours rip not happy bad How do you work out the calculations for the greens? Um, green speeds, putting's pretty easy. It's just, it's, um, 
7.9 divided by the green speed, factor in elevation, and add 2. Pretty easy to figure out putting speed. For big uphills and things like that, it, it's you got to modify it slightly, but pretty accurate. On the dance floor. You need a exclamation mark putting command with YouTube blink. Ah, uh, yeah, that's good. I mean, Ken, you can do that. As a mod, you can do that. I'll go ahead and put that in. Should have bought some Wellington boots. I don't think any amount of boots in the world would have survived that. It was deep. It was fun though. Except for the part. All right, so the weather was supposed to be perfect. It was for 90% of that trip. We were going really slow. Like we had a group of 32 of them. There was a, a lot of people on this trip. I think it was 32 it might have been a little bit more somewhere around 32 32 to 35 people uh yeah and then we get into it and everyone's kind of going at different speeds right you got some people that are trying to set land speed records and we're just kind of drinking and coasting which most of us were doing but it took a little bit it probably took like four out we did six miles i think it took uh i don't know we started at two we got done at like six it took like four and a half hours <clears throat> Mainly focusing more on drinking than canoeing. Actually, I was kayaking. Um, so yeah, we, we get like uh, mile five, I would say. We've got one more mile left, I had to guess. And then it just starts pouring. <sighs> like, can't hardly see type of pouring. The, the last part of that trip kind of sucked, but all right. No, if anything, I wanted to miss late there. I don't think I put it up far enough back for it to get the spin. Not to mention the greens are too slow. Uh, faster greens, that's probably not a bad shot. Ah, screwed that one up, hold on. Depends on how much it's gonna break. This this could be a bit off. Oh god. Yeah it was. I should have stuck with my actually almost straight, I think. Ugh. <clears throat> well that was terrible. Thought I was gonna win a Wolf Creek Ready 50 if Max had me 
25 but beat me. 50 credit one. I signed up for that. We're going to play that today. Unfortunately, I had like five ready goes expire yesterday that I didn't play. How do I calculate dots on greens? Um, a little more complicated. But if you look at JC Sneed on YouTube, watch that video, it'll give you a better understanding. So bounce dependent. This is dumb. Okay. We get a generous bounce. Okay. Oof. Meter is getting a little wild on me now. Good ball. Holy cow. All right. That's a hundred and seventy yard seven iron. So good, you need to teach me how to play. <laughs> uh, there's lots of videos out there. Got a lot of videos out there to teach people. <laughs> oh, did I really not catch the hill there?
Holy hell. Feels like there was no elevation. I'm going to play a little bit more break. Good round. Good putt there and good, good adjustment I made. I don't have a laptop or PC, so I play on mobile. Oh. And, yeah. One mistake there, but we'll move through probably by shots or something silly. Eh, not quite seven, it was only six, but. One on Jag. I think that's it. Brackets. I ended up losing this one. I played this one off stream yesterday. Lost by one. Ah, it was a terrible round. Two easy birdies. I missed that round. I won that one. Good ball. I don't know about that one. Seems like a lot of break, man. I feel like I'm really overplaying it.
Hello, Boone. Early few on a Monday morning. Well, it's a holiday. I fell asleep kind of early last night. It was a long day yesterday. We we left at like noon. I didn't get home till like eleven thirty last night. Oh, and hit here. Fast green, so we can't rely on too much backspin, but we can get really aggressive throwing it long. Yeah, I already talked myself into it. Spin it back. Oh, God. Off that line. Don't move anymore. No, that did not get any spin. It hit something flatter in there. I'm gonna play a little bit more over. The other day I carried it way further than I thought here. Making putting look so easy. Eh. Eh. Hey, what? I made a list of uh, around the other night. Trying to make a list of like things I need to get better at, right? Yeah, like, like that's like a list of like, five things I want to work on before Vegas. I think we're gonna do that sometime this week. I do it on stream. Uh, I go right at it, or do I? It's only fast green, so I should probably go right at it. Oh no, Jason, did you really just hit it in the water again here? Why do I keep doing that? Try to go so easy, yeah, until you do something stupid like that. <laughs> you do something dumb like that. Now I'm going to miss late on purpose. So you do something dumb like that. Last time I played this, I put two in the water here. I don't know what it is. Well, gee. Might as well just go in for the pitch in. An easy pitch. Oh my. All right. Did that against Night by Nature the other day? Yeah, I don't know what it is. I just keep doing it on that hole. Easy, ready, go. I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> All right, let's try this one. I might save that for last. I don't know. I hate playing set of the week because it screws up my timing. Different club speeds and stuff. 
Oh, are we ready for a 1K already this morning? How about that? I don't think we're there yet. A few more warm-up rounds. Yeah. Get around to playing that today. That's a huge drive. Thing. Oof, grossly misread that one. Probably wasn't as bad. If I hit the ding, it's probably like right here. Alright. Speed was good, which is all that really matters. Just couldn't afford to go back here. Terrible. It must be bored witless playing Pinehurst. I'm actually really enjoying it. I used to hate playing Pinehurst, but now that I kind of understand it better, it's probably becoming one of my favorite courses. Shockingly. I'm really, really enjoying it. Like it has some nuances, it does, but once you understand them, oh my god, it makes the course so much more enjoyable. Because I remember this hole, and like specifically, I used to get so pissed playing this hole. There'd be times where I'd just hit shots like five, six yards long, or three, four yards short. It was, what the heck is up with this hole? Now that I've hit so many shots into it, and I've understood, it's, I, I love the hole. I think it's ridiculously easy now. It used to be super hard for me. It's like the same with this hole. This hole's still hard, but not nearly as hard as it used to be. The approach shot, anyway. The putting still sucks. No, 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 no. Hate being on the side. On the dance floor.
Can't get a good read. It's so funky right here. The camera angle's not right. Here. Oh, it's just such a weird putt. Didn't get the right angle to get a good line on it. I feel from the front angle that's gonna break less. Yeah, it's uh, just still that green. That's a huge mm. drive. Not comfortable on it. Should be. Good. I don't know. I don't know if I should play release. Uh, I know what I want to play, I just hope it doesn't release too much. It's pretty shitty. This is another hole I gotta work on some more. I need to hit a bunch of shots into here. Because like distance wise it was perfect, but because it's uphill so much, I don't know how to play that. Guess you just gotta play that. Probably I hit it 68, what that number was, but I probably need to hit that 70. So probably add to below 90% power if I had to guess would be an easy way to do it. But also the putt below the hole is much better than Okay, that broke the opposite way. <sighs> Another one that gets me. Did not see it breaking that way. I mean, I know it breaks that way if we're on this side of the pin. I thought it broke the other way if we're on that side. So that's two bad pars right there. Jeez. So what? So that's my question with it downwind and uphill. Is it not safer to play release? Yeah, it is. It's just risky. Like, I don't want to go past the pin there. That's in the garden spot. But I thought I would have gotten some release on that. Oh, come on. You're going to like that one. All right, two big holes coming up. 15, 16. Need to birdie out. What do we got here? 
I got a couple notes. I really don't have much on this. Not a bad number in. I don't think we should play the wind. I think if we end up left of the flag, it just would just end. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Seen a vastly different line. I'm not comfortable with how much break this is saying it has. A lot. In this view, it's saying it breaks here, which just feels like an absurd amount of break. Yeah, I mean, it could be, but hitting this six feet, I don't feel very comfortable. I didn't think so. So that's a curious one. Why was that off? And I was like 99% sure that wasn't going, but I need to go back and look at that putt. At why? Why is that line so much different than the other one? That did not look right whatsoever. Just based off, you know, I've had that putt a decent amount of times. I don't remember it breaking nearly that much. So the other view was right, but which I would have loved to use that view, but I haven't worked on that view enough to be comfortable with what the line was there. What's up, Liz? So reverse view is primarily how I putt, and that's one of my big key items to work on is get more comfortable with the way it does that much win. A wild winds today? No, oh, not yet. Not yet, anyway. I mean, normally I just step up right here and just ram it. I'm pretty sure that's the line, but verify. It's like if we're playing in this tournament, I'm definitely not just going to step up and hit it like that. Six point. Again, it looks like way too much break. Why am I getting different, different reads here? It's very uncomfortable. But I'm going to hit it because we need to know. Okay. That time it was right. Could have hit it a little harder. If I hit it right speed, it probably drops dead set. I just I wasn't comfortable hitting that twenty four and a half percent. Alright, I told myself I was done hitting full back into this hole. 
not hitting full backspin into this hole anymore. I go five iron right there. I had a really good full backspin number. That's the sad part. Do you think a 25, 29 foot putt on that hole in the bracket final keeping the round? I did. It was it was actually one hell of a putt. I mean, it was ridiculously good. All right, not a good round. That's okay. Need to birdie this one. I have to birdie this. This is a tricky hole. I literally have this number like if I look on my spreadsheet it'll say for this number hit this but we're not gonna have that so I kinda have it though I have it on my spreadsheet here it literally says if you get this number play this so let's see if it's right oh god it's not gonna be right I just Easily gave up a yard, I'd say. Not or what the? What the hell? I had I had an adjusted number of one thirty-seven. Hit ninety-five percent and went one forty-three. Hmm. I gotta pull up that spreadsheet. See what it says. 18 adjusted, 8 iron. Hey, that's crazy. Could have been right. I literally have like four shots of me hitting from that distance. All of them went pin high. The misting must have just really done something. Or it's like I'm talking about. Like I'm talking about where the game just randomly. Randomly has been throwing my clubs like four or five yards long for the last three, four days. I don't know. I don't know if it's that or if I just overpowered it. Huh. <laughs> That line, that line looks awful. In this view, that line looks absolutely terrible. Like, barely going to move in this view. No. Weird. It wasn't off by much though. It was probably like 10, 21, 21 4, 14. Yeah, it was, it was a lot closer. I could have made that adjustment. 
It was a little over half a grid. Yeesh. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. Luckily, you didn't have this putt to get to Vegas. I think I would have made it. Give me enough time, I'll make it. I would have read that 25 times first. Oh, is it good? Oh. All right, let's play the uh, shit of the week here. Let's see how disastrous this is. Let's just get all our bad rounds out of the way right now. It's probably going to take like 8 9 under to win this. What's up, Dart? I'd say minimum 8 under. Holy God, that eight iron doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Straight up the hill, though. No idea where to hit that. We had this putt earlier. Hugely different line. Look at that. These are moving so slow. These are moving so fast. I don't know which one to trust. Putting with a 25, 20 foot scale feels so weird. Want anything today with family? Um, I don't think so. No, we hung out all day yesterday, so I doubt it. How I calculate distances. No. A little nervous. Let's just. 178. It's like one. It's pretty much like 163. I kind of neutralize each other. Although I'd played a little stronger with my normal clubs. I didn't think the wind was going to hit it as much, but it looks like it did. It's not the worst place to be, though. Pretty sure it's dead straight. You got a break in left here. You got a break in left here. So you got two lefts. coming up short. Oh, hello. 
Godwin. The two lefts make a right. Uh, the two lefts make a fairly straight. That's in the garden spot. So usually what I do there, when they're both going the same direction, like technically they're going opposite directions, which makes them the same. Oh, good morning. When they're going the same directions, right? I look at which one's going faster and I usually gravitate more towards that side. So if in one view it's moving left to right, but it's going faster in forward view, say, and then the other view it's going right to left, I would trust the forward view direction, but play it fairly straight. That makes sense. One eighty two to the pin. Greens are for the green shit. Eleven. Okay. Please don't go in the water. Oh, you're trying to make trying to make a joke. Okay, you got you got jokes. Good, good. All right, can we go eagle eagle? That'd be fantastic. Ooh, I got the win for it too. Weird, it's uphill on this tee. Used to it being downhill. Never did think about the foreground or background though to see what it's more susceptible to. Oh, oh man, I'm so not comfortable ramming these putts with this scale. I just do it by feel. If I had my 15 foot scale, I could make this quickly. 20 foot, uh, I'll have a good feel for it. I'd go right here and then I would adjust power and then I'd miss ding later early depending on feel. I think we need to do it mathematically here. I just instinctively calculate on a 15 foot scale. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Fifteen percent or something ridiculous. God, that just feels weird, man. Give my fifteen foot scale. All right, good eagle eagle there. Uh, this is the wind I really suck at. 
30. So we're going to go like 290. I had to guess. This should carry around 290. That's kind of our line. That should be right there. Oh, God. That's, that's not good. It was in the fairway if I ding it. Oh, now we're going to pay the price. Especially with these clubs, we are screwed. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking put it in the bunker. I don't think the bunker shot's bad. Eight iron just seems like a terrible terrible idea and i'm not comfortable with the number so yeah worst case we end up in the bunker and i'm okay with that i think this is pretty makeable actually Sucks, but oh well. <laughs> Gotta hit the fairway there. God. Oh no. Huh? Release and everything here? This should be good. Shit. Rather miss that way than the other way. There's no release whatsoever. F my life. Are you kidding me? I thought a level 20 something club into a huge tailwind with a flat punch. It's got a release. Level 39. Hmm. Okay. realize that putter has a shit ton of scales it was like 20 40 60 80 100 i'm like wow it's actually kind of nice how many scales ahead okay what number so we need to be under 50 or around 100 one of the two i get to under 50 no way in hell i can hit 350 be able to hit it close to 300 off of this I would assume Thank you, Dirk. I catch the bounce right here, anyway. That'll do.
Uh, hell. Once again, maintaining my title is the, the best, worst player on this hole. I mean, I, most of the time, I, 99% of the time, I'm going to birdie the hole. I'm just never like, it's never a tap in for me. I don't know why. I just absolutely suck at it. I think I need to get a desktop so my dots can look like this. Oh. No. That's in the garden spot. All right, we need Eagle here. Eagle is big. So this is the tricky part, right? So these, uh, you always need the back camera here. So we get, you can see the difference. In the last couple of 1Ks, I haven't been able to see the back camera, which makes a big difference. So the dots are moving almost, it's almost a straight tail. And here it's more like halved. I kind of split the difference and more like right here. But then you got to think, like, would I rather come up short or long? Where's my miss? I'd rather come up short. We hybrid in here. I'm going to try to hit the hybrid in. It's a very safe miss. Oh my god. Okay. Didn't expect it to carry 211 into a 17 mile an hour win. Okay, buddy. Guess I should have put a little bit of backspin. Like, even one ticket back probably carries an extra five, six, seven yards there. Didn't do myself any favors here. Lack of aggressiveness killed me there. Should have hit the three wood, I guess. Ah, oh, nightmare putt. Should have left myself over here. I mean, it's a long putt, but not bad. This one's oof. Terrible. It's not that the whole play is long. It's the camera angles that make it play long a lot of time. Like I said you gotta look at both. You gotta look at the back camera. Can't base it off the front. I just had that hybrid. I thought that hybrid was going to carry like 220 something, not 211. Even if I hit it flat. Like I ever hit hybrids though, so I don't know. Jesus Christ, man. The nightmare putt. Problem with aiming up here is the break, the dots get quicker, which means I got to play more break. Literally, this line's probably not the best line to play, but this is the line we're going to play. Oh 
Oh my god, hit it. Hit it. Uh, I tried to self-adjust there. So if you noticed, it went... It was up 6. When we moved it to our line, it moved to up 9. So I need to go 1.5. So I just tried to add 1.5 feet. Didn't quite get it right, I guess. Line was perfect, though, huh? I think this is just a hit and hope situation here. Oh shit! I know I misdinged it, but damn. Oh god. Worst case scenario, right there. Hmm. What's up, Leslie? Problem. You enjoyed the balls. Um. Uh, what club? What is, what is our club selection choices? Oh, should be a pretty easy shot. Damn, I can't believe we didn't eagle. 17 or 18, that's huge. I feel like 10 under had a legit chance at winning. Probably gonna hit this like 20, 26. I guess the question is, will it release or just stop? You gotta assume... This is not going to spin. No way it's going to spin. I kind of want to hit neutral and let it release out. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. It should release out a little bit. I figured that was my best chance of trying to hold it is just let it release. I uh, ding it, maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with that round. Those back-to-back -back eagles were huge, but not eagle in 17 or 18 was equally as huge. In a negative way. Yep. We lost the tie break. Two other people shot 27, but not eagle in 17 and 18. Got to eagle one of these, especially with those wins. We had really good wins on both. Oh, well. I'd for the lead anyway. Oh, uh, what's with those clubs? It was the set of the week. All right. I ended up getting, I shot nine under in this, but I didn't win. I thought 10 under would probably win. this a go I ended up getting second place but I don't know who to I just saw that I got 1200 credits for it I'm assuming for this tournament, eight under probably get your credits back. Nine under chance, outside chance to win. Ten under, good chance to win. That's a huge drive. Whoa. Minus 11? Oh, I wish. But, you know, I'd take that. If I had to, I'd take it. Shoot 11, you're definitely winning. Yeah, I've done it before on here, but that's so few and far between. Shoot 11 under on this front nine. So there's such a big element of luck there. I'm thinking about going golfing today. That sounds really fun. Eh, good number in. This could be a hole out if we're lucky.
Are the old spinner Roonies to the wedge then? Yeah. I mean, if I really wanted to hold that, I guess I should have thrown it a little bit past and zipped it, but. Birdie's a good number. We'll take it. Okay. Okay, three wood. Get it. You don't want to do what you're told. Like a teenage rebel. Uh, am I going alone or with John? Um, I'd probably take my son. In this big golfing thing right now, so take him with me. Okay, this is a really weird read. When you start talking about this grid and this grid, you got to you're kind of thinking mentally where does it cross in? Really not going to mess with that grid too much. Turn, turn. Oh my God, where's the turn right there? Ah, that sucks. That ruined the round right there. On a ding three wood, nonetheless. Okay, you gotta make that putt. <clears throat> Uh, I can't really afford to be too aggressive here. Just got to throw it past. Make a putt. Make a pitch anyway, I should say. A good number, though. Eh. Need to find an eagle. We need to hole out somewhere. Not going to be this hole. You crushed it. Uh, how much release am I going to get here? That's kind of important. Who's going to play like 172 and a half? I'm thinking just land at 170, and if we land, should be okay. If we don't get the release, then we got an easy putt up the hill. Shit, that carried really far. All right. Uh, hmm. It's quite the six iron there. Then have that carry into the bin. 
I don't know. Should have came up one and a half. Should have came up four and a half feet short, really. So I guess it's not really that much of a variance. Four and a half feet. Maybe a little less. Uh, this is the one we gotta try to hold out. We gotta be a little more aggressive and put some zip on this one. Like I have to try to hold it. A desperate man. Nice shot, dummy. Oh my god. Get it past the pin. Ooh. Could run three iron up. Not a bad play, actually. Play it flat, but we're going to trust the three wood, I think, because it's always so reliable. Okay. That's just fantastic. Look how far offline that went on another ding, dude. Two ding three woods have screwed me this round. Should have hit the three iron. Shit. God, I hate I hate the three iron so bad. It is so terrible. Ridiculously bad. I'm getting two different reads here. I think in my head, it's not enough break. I just feel like it's going to break a little bit more than that. Yep. Nah. Sounds not good. Got to think hole out. Mm. 
No. Mm. All right, looking like seven under. Ugh. Hope we get our credits back. Maybe. It's actually kind of a tricky putt. It's been that hard. <clears throat> Two ding three woods killed me. That's so bad. Tashman. God, I still under aimed. I don't know. I felt like I was overplaying it. Tashman, thank you very much for the 100 bit of Renos. Hey, we got the bits fixed, by the way. Fix that today. Oh, you crushed it.
Is it a tailwind or is it a headwind? Definitely looks like a tailwind here. Hmm. In 12 greens. Like a headwind to me, but the camera says it's a tailwind. Line's good. Fifty-fifty. Uh, Ended up being a tailwind. How much will that wind affect that shot? Uh, I took off three and a half yards. That wind. No, Jesus. God. Why? The only thing you can't do there is misting that way, dude. Like, I was even comfortable pulling it. I played way more win. I did not play that much win. Two. Yeah. I played that one, 18 and a half. Really easy putt. If this line's right, it's super easy. think Ding goes in. Nine three. I should have played that a little less than half a grid. Mm, 
Mm, missing that a little bit more. That's definitely a putt I should have made there on three. All right, I've overplayed, I've underplayed, I'm all over the place. Yo, Alex Pearson, thank you very much for the uh, Twitch follow, brother. Welcome to the Twitch side of the house. I think it's more than this, but the one just felt wrong. It's like way over here, and that just feels like a bit too much over here. I'm gonna stick with this one. I've been having to put my feel on picking a line. I can't seem to get the dot speeds figured out on mobile. They're a little bit quicker. They're definitely a lot quicker. All right, Jesus, take the wheel here. Feels like that game Plinko on the Price is Right. Hoping you get a good bounce. Actually, should be able to stick this. Not stick it, but we should be able to get it kind of close. Number just worked out super well. Okay, that was big. Thank you. Down, keys, man. What are you doing? They didn't really go anywhere. They went 263. What a beast of a shot there.
a fun putt. Jason loves him, some Carrie Underwood. Eh, not really. not right unless I'm hammering this putt there's no way that's the right line I got an idea I got something I want to try here that's an idea God, it just feels so off. It just looks so, so, but whatever. I think the other line was actually right, but it's okay. A little bit of a tester there. You never know unless you test. I don't know if this is a terrible win to hit driver. It truly is. Uh, right though, we're gonna do it anyway. Is it oh, sounds like fun, you know? It needs to turn so much. It needs to really turn. Oh god, that's what I didn't want to have happened. Or it could have turned less, and it would have been fine too. Oh fuck, I'm like right up against the lip. I don't think I can get out. Okay. That itself is not bad. If I can get out of it, I can make birdie here. For sure. But I'm six inches in front of the big ass lip. It's like 24, 25, somewhere in that range. Cut out. Not bad. Big it. How ridiculous is heavy winds with those balls? Ed. Very little movement, lots of movement. Very little movement, lots of movement. A very little, little amount of movement.
I'm just gonna go right in between. Kind of the, the number right in between both reads and be right there. Damn it, it was the other one. You can't miss that putt. That is such a easy putt, man. Just your first read and it's dropped. And it's in. Rip. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Overplayed the win pretty good. It. Uh, did not play that win right. Okay. Yeah, that comes out right. Damn it. Should have played that 200, like dead 200.00. Instead, I played it 207, 206 and a half. I just didn't see the right wind angle there. Okay, big butt. I cannot, I can't, literally cannot, cannot, cannot miss it. I'm playing a little bit of wind push here. Eagle? Oh. Ah, it's heading kind of towards the bunkers. Oh. All right, it's going to be seven under. Not very good. Too many makeable putts I missed and some other goofy stuff. Shenanigans. We gotta go for the hole out here. Wow. Wind really, really grabbed that. I don't know. Not very good. Birdie that one. That one, I can't even remember, I'll be honest. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the one where if I trust the first number, that dropped. So we should have buried both of those. Should have been nine under. That one, I'll, that was just, it's actually a really easy line. I don't know how I flubbed that one. 59% ding rate. Average.
All right, let's play good. That for a change this round. <clears throat> Maybe throw up a 10 under, nine under. I think we get the rules and everything tomorrow for this live event, which is pretty exciting. Hopefully, anyway. We learn our fate. God, this is such an easy shot. Don't blow it. Alright, that should be a pretty easy birdie. Dead straight putt from there. That's the spot to play to on that hole. Oh, you crushed it. That's in the garden spot. Uh, 50, be like 52, 51-ish. Good hole out number. Good hole out number. I don't know if I told you guys that, but number is good to hold out. <laughs> Who needs the putt? Yeah, that was way easier. I should just do that every time. What did I just do, gentlemen? Oh no, I missed club. Oh no. I hit an eight iron instead of a nine iron. Feels bad, man. Okay. Such a weird read. It's makeable though. They talk about it. Open to the stream. Just tuned in. Oh, you crushed it.
That's a huge drive. Ah. All right, great win. Easy, easy sauce right here. Should be an easy eagle. It's actually going to help me slow the ball down. Come on, three wood. No crazy ass three wood here. That's too firm. Too firm. Too firm. Should put a little more oomph onto that. A little more backspin needed, but very makeable. Very, very makeable. Oh, how, how does that only carry four? Oh, you suck so bad. I should have just played fullback. I've got to get better at that 2025 less than fullback pitch. I always come up short. Always. I got to chart that. That's what we got to do. Add that to the list. Things to get better at. That was a big non eagle right there. You got to make eagle there. Oh. oh, awkward, awkward. Going back and forth on what shot to play there. Faster greens, I probably go with top. But slower greens, I didn't think it was going to get away from me too bad. Oh, I did not like this pin. I don't know what I want to play here. Something not super spinny, I think, is a play. You gotta jam it in, man. Right in the back of the cup. Oh, oh god, that was so weak and low and puny. Didn't look amazing, but I thought uh, I thought it was gonna come out a little harder than that. Uh, 
had to really hit some muscle on that one. That's a bad par. Tricky pin, though. It happens. That's where that eagle on four, or not eagling five, really, really hurts now. Pass green, so it shouldn't run down the hill too much. Should spin back a little bit. Not a bad putt, it's just longer than I should have been. I don't really think it's going to break that much. I guess if it does right there, it's fine. You add three yards where that shot? Um, that would work in most cases, yeah. Some cases it wouldn't work. Oh, God. But missing. Ah, dang, I, I had the perfect number on it, dang, I think. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Really easy putt. Ah, uh, God. What? Five, three, six. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, that cost me the ready go right there. Huh. I had that at six seconds, but it was actually seven. That second is a lot to be off for me. It's like a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot to be off for me. Gotta go right at it. Okay. Thank God I didn't trust that view. Holy God, I would have been a mile off. YOLO! Very nice shot. Oh no! Oh god, this putt's gonna be terrible. <laughs> On the side of a mountain. I gotta stop doing this. 
have to stop putting myself in this position on this hole. It's not worth it to go for it. Someone please appropriately smack me the next time I say I'm going for this pin. Just play it short, man. Play it short. Be small. Oh, no. All right. We're, we're over our pity party. It's 6.1 downhill 6. I'm, my bad. See the, how increased the dots get when I go there as compared to here. Actually, kind of. <laughs> All right. Easy putt here. Um, yeah. There's that. Hi, Dubai. Oh, my God. At the speed I need to hit it at, I'm not even kidding you. It's 33 grids. 33 grids. We triple that number. Good lord. Three grids. I'm going to knock that down. I'm just trying to like do this mathematically and it's it's 11 grids at a half percent so that's obviously not going to work I'm going to use a different putting method it's called feel The old feel method. Now, can you imagine trying to hit that putt on champ 13 green speeds, not fast nine? Holy hell. That would have been a nightmare. Climb it in? Yeah, that's what we did. Just went by feel there. Oh, okay. Two pars on the part threes are killing. Uh, where'd that put us? We're winning by one. We're actually winning it by one. This is really weird. Look at Kill Course. He's in fifth place. The WD. What the hell? I'm guessing he probably shot 28 or obviously he probably shot 29. It's saying WD for some reason. Where he WD and he's about to make some bits. I don't know. <laughs> At the new glitch, if I WD, do I get fifth place? Because I'm going to WD them all. in the garden spot. Uh 
hole? In the hole? Oh. Ooh. Hmm. This is. Do we want to go for the hole out? This is the question. Are we willing to risk par for an eagle? I think so. Oh, God. Really didn't zip back too much. Oh, boo. Big on this one. All right, birdie's going to be a good number here. Such a wicked par five, man. Oakmont was always my favorite. Glad to bring. Yeah, it's really cool. It's fun to play it. Although I played it so much right now, I'm getting a little, little toasted out on it. But fun. Ah, oh, we got a post in the virtual tour. I think I posted like a fourteen under or something yesterday. Just kind of playing really quick through it. Just more I wanted to see where the pins were. Now, oh my god, that went so far offline. Trying to ding it and throw it high right and get it to come back a little bit. I think this puck goes left to right. And unfortunately, I got it a little too high on the hill here. Okay. 
That does not seem right. There's no damn way that breaks that much. Is Bit me in the ass. I added for the elevation change, and I shouldn't have. Such tricky. I never know when to add for that and when not to. Changes the speed of that putt. I hit 27.5%. It would have been a little less than 26%. Which probably drops. Out number. Oh, no. Just away that one. Great number. Oh, okay, super safe play. Uh, fail. Left to writer. Down that line, it's good. Up drifting. <laughs> Need eagle. Need eagle here on seventeen. Maybe. Oh, God. 
How do you miss that bad? Dang it. Really good shot. Yo, Alex Pearson, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub, brother. Welcome to the club. Enjoy your emotes. Should have one more approved tomorrow, hopefully. It just depends. Like if this if this is actually dead, then I'm missing high right now. I think it's got to be right. Just the first two feet of this putt determines whether or not I made it. The right line, I just gotta ding it. Damn it. The ding. That's big. Should be able to stick this, man. This is one you be not super tight. Oh my god, my meter got retarded and I just freaked out and clicked. You gotta let that go. Click. Don't click. Twenty two and a half. Yeah, I was just so uh, I hit twenty three percent. I should have done twenty two and a half on the sixty scale and it dropped. Big, 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 big. Gonna win credits, but not gonna win. Do you see anything I want to play, man? What's going on here? One K. I don't really want to play. 
Oakmont and then turn around and play Oakmont again. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely going to play it today. I just don't. We've already been live two and a half hours this morning. I'm about to take a break. Go eat breakfast, mow my grass, maybe play golf, and then be back for an afternoon session. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It's just me and you, bro. If you Alt F4 and get your inventory up instantly, um we don't we don't have inventory in this game but good try though good try oh who is this m franzen second soap my front nine let's go let's play Just chill here. We're just chilling. Do it. Uh, don't tell me what to do, sir. William, I'm going to have to put you in timeout for being goofy. Take a five-minute timeout. Think about what you said. Back after you've had a chance to reflect. Oh, he left the game. Make me hit Alt-F4. Unfortunately, he won't play me. He says, too good is what he'll put or something like that on here. He's like a nice guy, but never will play me. I just can't find it. All right, looks like it's not happening. So I'm gonna bounce out two and a half hours in. So I'm gonna get some lunch, get some stuff done, and I will see you guys back for an evening session.